Legend of Total War here with part 44 of my Stainless Steel 6.4 Let's Play campaign as the Quaresmian Empire. On the last episode, took Alexandria, Dimatia, I don't matter, um, Karak, oh wait, no, that was the previous one, um, Tama, and lost Iconium. I can't really defend this area very well, it's full of, I've got crap troops here. I can't send any armies out because I can only have armies commanded by the uh, faction leader or faction heir as per big scrim realism as far as I'm aware of. Every time I've tried in the past to uh, to send out just some other general, even if it was a war counsellor, it ended up in the whole faction turning to shit due to disloyalty and rebellions and all kinds of crap. So I'm trying to avoid that. Anyway, uh, what are we going to do? Let's have a look at construction. As far as money's concerned, it's no longer a concern. I've got enough to, to, uh, to field heaps of armies. But you never know, I might need it for a rainy day. We want to get a strong road network so I can move around quickly. Yeah, never going to be able to get that to uh, uh, Citadel. Not without a bloody level 10 chivalry general sitting there for fucking ages. The AI can get Citadels fairly easily because they have population growth bonuses. I suppose that's just part of the difficulty of this. I don't really need citadels, though. I wouldn't be able to hire anything from it. Okay, now, attention to the Mongols. They've just been sitting there for a long time. I don't know what they're doing. Absence of any sort of strategy at all. This shit going on here. Like I said before, I don't need to have this here anymore, but... Fuck, I'm not going to throw, throw away my regions. Alright, let's go. I'm strongly considering putting the attack to uh, the Mongols soon. What I'm trying to do here is establish enough of a power base in the west that it can actually hold off the western powers as well because they're going to want a piece of my lands now as well. As you can see with the Byzantines, even though I declared war on them. But essentially, I'm never going to get peace unless I actually wipe out everyone else. Because it's Grackle AI. Which means, they don't give a shit about peace treaties or alliances or whatever. If I'm in their way, or if I border them, they'll come. As things stand, the Mongols have about three times as large an army as I do. But picking them apart piece by piece by piece is certainly an option. Especially if they don't have generals inside their armies there. Easier to rout. Essentially what I really need is armies full of cavalry if you're going to take them on, because they're very missile orientated. Problem is, cavalry is hard to recruit. Or good quality cavalry at the least. Maybe the alternative is hiring good quality archers, which I can do. Saracen archers and desert archers and Armenian, or whatever. Turkish archers, yeah, whatever I can get my hands on. All long range archers. Up against their horse archers. also be a good idea to get rid of some of these factions just to make the end turn a bit faster. 
But then again, there's still heaps to bloody conquer. No. No. Doesn't matter, I don't need the money anymore. Let's see. I need to get this trait, this retinue, over to this guy here, if he hasn't already got it. He doesn't. Our enemies will suffer. Just going from city to city in order to be protected. Wonder if we can have that siege engineer as well, or military engineer. Cool. That'll really help against siege battles, obviously. I think we've got an opportunity here to take on Cairo. All we need to do is send, let's see, you. No, send you to besiege it. Shit. Can't go around. No cavalry. Can't beat that. Oh, hang on. That's not too bad. But still, you can't send someone without the general. Alright. I can use cavalry. Just have to go around this guy. Because what I'm thinking is fighting that, sending it back to Cairo, and then smashing it the usual way. I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah. Right. This guy's got heaps of movement. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Send them to besiege... Hang on, they're gonna go through the fucking... thing like that. Besiege it. I wanna take Cairo this turn. Go to do, it uh, do it carefully. Don't think I need my horse archers. I think they'll actually somewhat get in the way. Bring all of these guys, except for... Let's see. Who don't I need? Maybe you. And you. Down here. Now we want to win this battle, kill their general. Hang on a sec. I think I will have these guys. They'll be really good against the enemy general. Kill him, and then let the others get back to Cairo. Now, I know uh, some of you might have been wondering why I merged those two Turkoman units when I could have retrained them to both have that much experience, but essentially, it's not worth the effort. It doesn't make them significantly better like it does in Rome Total War, so I don't bother with it too much. I don't need it. All it does is consume time. Okay. I'm pretty sure they'll come at me because they've got ballistas. Alright. Turkmen's. We're 
gonna go shoot the enemy general. So my plans are, of course, send these guys around, harass the enemy general, and ballistas. These guys shoot the shit out of them. Heavy infantry, or just spear infantry. Fight them. General, come down, smash them. about these guys, it's not going to do that much. The bodyguard could be a serious concern if they get to my infantry. Guys, move forward. Oh, shit, don't be skirmishing. Killed a few of them, not as many as I would have liked. Certainly winning the battle, though. more of them. Four fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. What are you doing? Dumbass, you can get yourself killed. Oh, well, they're doing pretty well. In fact, they killed a shitload of them now. Don't let them get close. Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. What is with this fuckwit? It's like he's asking to get killed. Fucking Titus Pullo. Oh, no need. We've got this under control. There's only a few of them left. Come on, you need to actually kill him. Can't be capturing him. Oh, look, you got one of my guys. Okay, now we just need to break this army. Our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. Drive them from the battle. Okay, just don't let it get to 85% and I can execute them. Alright, that'll do. Victory is ours. A victory both righteous and well. Okay, now they go back to Cairo. I lift the siege, smash the garrison in addition to this army again. Now that is because of the Turkmen's, I think. 
I can still have them in the battle, but they need to go from a different angle. Oh, this is going to be a close one. How may I serve, Sultan? Yes. Shubedak. You stand there. We must. Yes. There shall be no mercy for the enemy. All right, so. That's nothing. This here is not nothing, but it's not much. Just make sure he dies. That's what this guy's job is, is to do. Kill the enemy general, who is the faction heir. Evenly matched battle. But you all know they don't stand a fucking chance. Some people might call what I'm doing, you know, exploiting, but this is strategy. You know, attacking head on all the time. That's not strategy. That's just not. That's just nothing. It's not even strategy. It's just, that's just attacking head on. And so sometimes, you know, you got to go around and find find the best way into some, doing something like this. And that's what I something I do quite well, I think. And sometimes it's called exploiting. Well, whatever. I just think those people who don't use strategy like this are the, the most dull people in the world. This also adds more story to it than just, hey, there's a city, attack it head on. There's a city, attack it head on. There's a city, attack it head on. Which is basically the way Rome 2 is starting to become like, because they're taking out all of the interesting tactic choices. Because people are complaining that they're exploits. And then they wonder why the game gets boring when they attack every city head on, rather than draw them out where you can have a, an interesting fight out in the field, which is what I do. And everyone can play this game however the fuck they want. If you want to use cheats, use cheats. If you want to use exploits, use exploits. Don't bloody hide it or lie about it. Uh oh. What's this? Arab cavalry? Yeah, let's kill them a bit. Or a lot. Sounds good. Shit, they didn't do too bad. Okay, you're out of there. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't need this guy anymore. Best he leaves the battlefield. I can't get my bearings. Everything looks the fucking same in this desert. Okay, good, they're safe. Now then, I want this guy to be the assassin of the enemy general. I don't think they've got any archers, though. It does look like they're going to just sit there and wait. If I can kill the Arab cavalry, that's just as good as well. Got to be careful, though, they are winded. Ah, oh, they've got Kurdish javelin men, that doesn't really count.
slow down. Yeah, let's kick their ass a bit. Good, they're just gonna stand there like morons. Get too close to those Kurdish javelin men. Okay, uh, move it. Okay, what are they doing? It doesn't look like he's coming towards me, he's just moving around. Well, let's still shoot him. They don't look lightly armored, but they are. That's how my guys are able to kill them so easily. I do wonder though, does the experience actually increase their uh, their attack? Because it doesn't say so in the stats. They do seem to be killing quite easily. Okay, all the cavalry's gone now except for the general's bodyguard. That's soon to go now as well. I can't believe how passive they're being. Well, of course I can believe it, but it's a figure of speech saying, this is fucked. We have cut off the serpent's head. Are you fucking kidding me? The general is slain. Let's see how these snakes fight without their head. Jeez, they've got no cavalry left now. All they've got are infantry. Okay, guys. Let's move closer. I always like to make my guys run. Because I like things get to get done quickly. Out of ammunition. Okay, leave. Need to take the high ground over here. I'm starting to shoot at them, but I want to get a little bit closer still. I want to get right up the top of the hill. Are we shooting them now? A little bit. Let's get closer still. Come on. Do as you goddamn well told. Shit. These guys aren't doing anything. They're just going to sit there and take it like a bitch. Oh, hang on. Now they're coming. But their morale is likely to be pretty shaken. in the general to go smash them. They're not going to like that. Nice little slaughter. them. These guys should break as well. Yep. A full fight with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle.
Don't let a single one of these fuckheads get away. Okay, stop shooting. We've got this. Our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. Drive them from the battle. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. It's okay, these guys can be retrained. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Round him up. Our foe fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Good, so far so good. Shot at, that's what I want to see. Our enemy flees <laughs> before us like a herd of goats. Good. Drive them from the battle. You guys stop shooting, we'll run the rest of them down and execute them. Apart from what happened to these guys, that went fantastically well. Well, more like horrible for them. I didn't do anything that spectacular. Except for just getting into the situation in the first place. That'll do. Great victories two, are remain, two men remaining Come, in both armies. Let us drink of the most rare and... Cairo can be mine. Such is the fate of all infidels who face thee. Don't sack it, we want it in good shape. Yes, Sultan. Your enemies shall fall swiftly. A crushing victory, my Sultan. We have cut down the infidel defenders. There is yep, another rich city, uh, not the rich city in my position. Possession. Good. Okay. Looking good. Ah, oh, the Fatimids are fucked. Alright then, let's build the stuff that needs to be built and move on to the next turn. If this was a regular Medieval 2 game, I'd of course have you know, dozens of armies running around everywhere killing everyone, but because it's Big's Grim Realism, can't fucking do that. It is designed for a more turtled campaign, which is not to my favour, because I think turtling is dumb. That's for all Total Wars, except for maybe Shogun 2. You really do, on Legendary at least, you really do need to turtle. You just can't go blitzing everyone. It just does not work. Not unless you're really good at it, which I'm not. I'm okay at uh, Shogun 2. 
I've spent the least amount of time on it than any other Total War, though, because it's my least favourite. Doesn't mean I don't like it, just it's my least favourite. Okay. What? Oh, that's right, it's already built up. What kind of army have we got there waiting for us? Hell's this shit? Get rid of that fuck. Need some more heavy infantry in this. Don't really have access to any. Can't get any of this shit. Armored spearmen would be great. What the fuck is with this? Oh, I suppose it doesn't matter. Four lots of Turkoman cavalry, that's good. I wouldn't want more than that. It'd be too hard to manage. The rest of these are missile units. Then, need some infantry. Okay, let's go check what's going on at the front. Nothing to worry about there. I really don't need to keep doing this, I think. Oh, that guy betrayed me again. I don't know what's going on with this one. They're just fucking around. Actually, they're not fuck fucking around, they're just doing nothing. Um, okay then, let's move on to the next turn. Come on. Yeah, whatever. Oh, did I just press no? That was a bad idea. <laughs> whatever. Um, no. My knee-jerk reaction with everything is always no. Are they still besieging this thing up here? So that just buys time. But it's time for this region here to recruit more so that it can defend itself against them. And buying time is a valid strategy. I don't care what anyone has to say. Historically, when they're faced with superior numbers, any, any nation did that. They bought fucking time. For other things to come into effect. Okay, you need to come back over here and get retrained. 
Wait a sec. I don't think I can get Turkmen cavalry here. Well, not Turkmen lands. That's because of real recruitment, of course. I can get desert cavalry, though. Kenshin, my master despises you. Sibni Lawadi, infidel. Now what we need to do is come down here to whatever this fucking region is called. Coming down here means this other guy has to follow. Infidels to kill, Sultan. That doesn't matter. Skip from region to region. Eventually we'll get there. Well, too bad I can't send a general with that to go help him out. Come here. Right. <laughs> he's the conqueror and he's only 29 years old. That's awesome. I'm just wondering whether or not I should replenish my units a bit more before going down here or just go ahead and do it. I think I will stay here a bit, but before that, I'll go smash them. Should actually be retraining these guys instead. Put them in there, they'll merge. Can't have that. Our enemies will suffer. Nah -uh. Don't think I'll be needing the desert cavalry. There shall be no mercy for the infidel. Yep. This shouldn't be a problem at all. We shall not leave any of the infidels alive. So if we're going to go down to Upper Egypt, then we need to make sure that they don't have any armies hanging around here pissing me off. Reconquering what are now my lands. Ah, oh, shit. Still, still a uh, sandstorm, but doesn't matter. Wrong thing. Okay, we'll take a defensive position. I'm pretty sure they'll come at me. could guess that based on the fact that I've got missile superiority. What the fuck are their Arab cavalry doing? It's a bit ridiculous. Up front. You, round the flank. Go kill those Nubian archers. Good, these guys are getting shot to shit. That's what I want to see. They'll be breaking in no time. Because my general has got... I think he's pretty dreadful. Oh, I can't remember. Gotta get rid of their archers first. Come on, go kill them. Good, now these guys should route pretty easily. Let's see how these snakes fight without their head. Break your fuckwits. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. OK, 
Okay, they're good enough. Come back over here and get rid of the rest of them. Okay, let's put a stop to that. I think the battle's just about won. We just need to break that one there. Which should happen right about now. All praise to Allah. You have left our enemy lost. They run like children. Good, now the general can finish off the rest of them. And we've done it. That was easy, but that was expectedly so. Victory is ours. Got dread, right? Oh, a little bit. Infidels to kill, Sultan. Yes. Order. How may I serve, Sultan? Maybe I will start coming down this way. Because there's some mercenaries here. I doubt that they've got much. Our enemies will suffer. Sultan. Order. Yeah, I'll be fine. Let's just reform this. Okay, and I think I'll end the video here. Things are going well. I don't see any problems. The Byzantines are not attacking too aggressively. Which buys me time. I'll be up there soon to go kill them. Anyway, that's the end of this video. So like and subscribe. Part um, 45 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time.